Hello and welcome back to part 2 of Oregon Springs, a new series I'm doing based in the United States of America. If you haven't watched the first episode, I encourage you to do so, where you will see me do a whole lot of very little. <laughs> um, we went and bought this really nice big Dutz Frar. This is actually, I believe it's not a mod, I believe this is actually a a standard tractor with the game, I've just never used it before. Um, quite a lot of YouTubers do tend to use only modded tractors, so it's quite nice to have the occasional licensed vehicle from Giants in there. It's quite a, quite a nice tractor. Very aggressive looking as well. And we also have this uh, quite large cultivator on the back here. Uh, that is a mod. But as I mentioned in the previous video, each of these episodes are going to be around the 30 minute mark and there is going to be very little, if anything, done off camera. I will time lapse some work on fields, but not all of it. But some of it will be time lapsed for your viewing pleasure. Because this is the smallest field that we own and we're... we're well, it's already taken us over 10 minutes so far and uh, we're only about halfway through it. So this is not going to be a, an overly realistic series, this is just a, a fun series. I don't mind using cheats or maxing out the bank loan or things like that. I just want to basically have a series where we are uh, using some nice big equipment in keeping with the map. As I previously mentioned, I'd like to get some of the uh, GCB challengers and the likes. Um, I did sell a lot of the original equipment that we got. There is also another Dutz at the farm. It's a smaller one with a front loader attacher. Um, it will be used for the likes of spraying and such things. Just a, a, a slightly larger utility tractor if you will. Little the odd jobs around the farm here and there that we need to do. Like spraying. <laughs> But uh, this is a, a reasonably big field in itself. We sold the harvester that we started the map with because there's no point in having it sitting around for a year not being used. And it'll be autumn before it is actually even started. So it'll just be sitting there costing us money every day. And it's just pointless to have it just sat there and for my general thoughts on the map it's a little bit small this map is going full American the bigger the better so we will try and get the biggest harvester possible I don't particularly want to cheat but if it means we get some fancy equipment I will do that I just don't want to be doing it all the time because uh, I mean I could just go and push a button just now and we'd end up with a billion pound and I could buy everything out of the shop and all the fields and hundreds of animals and things like that but then there would be nothing left to do so I, I want to avoid that so far I've not touched the bank loan and I have not cheated and um, if you watch the first episodes it's all done live there is no cuts taken out of it. There's, in fact, I, I don't edit my videos an awful lot at all. Um, I usually just edit my intro card onto the front and I think by now I should have an exit card as well or an end card um, that I also render into the videos. Beyond that, unless there's a jump cut or a time lapse, there's next to no editing involved. I usually uh, jump cut things like this. I jump cut this field to show you a bit of the start and a bit of the end and jump all the middle out. But uh, I'm not one for editing because, uh, well, you're presumably here to watch the the game being played and not just highlights. <laughs> There's plenty of YouTube channels out there that do highlight style editing on their games. Um, which is perfectly fine. Everyone is entitled to their own thing, but for me, I don't particularly like watching that kind of thing. Um, I like to 
watch the full process personally and I like to bring a little touch of personality into the videos you know if uh, my my thoughts are if if I wouldn't watch it I can't expect anyone else to either but then again maybe I have weird taste and nobody likes what I watch so maybe no one will watch my content but only time will tell on that one so it's not taking us too long to finish this field off it's uh, it's quite a decent sized cultivator that we have here and I know this is not a very realistic way of cultivating a field but it is the way I'm doing it so there is that but as I mentioned in my last video I'll just touch on it again there will soon be a video released of a channel update that I will release obviously on YouTube but I will also release it on my social media um, because I'm changing the general theme of the channel just slightly and um, the same content will be available so you don't have to worry about that if you like watching a particular series unless that series is scheduled to end anyway it will continue as you are previously expecting it to I'm not going to end anything early unless I really have to but um, it will just be a quick update video on the channel uh, give the channel a bit of direction and that kind of thing hopefully shift the channel into the next gear the channel is a couple of months old now and I feel I've got a general handle on how the whole YouTubing thing works now so it's time to really put the work in and uh, see what we can do with it is the general idea so keep an eye out for that um, if you're interested in following me on Twitter my Twitter handle is at simulator YTube that's uh, the easiest way to get in contact with me if you fancy a chat or just have any suggestions or anything like that Twitter is the easiest way to reach me um, or you can uh, leave me a comment on one of my videos. I do try and respond to all comments or at very least acknowledge them but if it's a comment that uh, needs to be replied to then I will do so and if you're just looking for a chat that's fine as well if you'd, if you'd like uh, just to get to know me a little bit better that's perfectly acceptable too at the end of the day YouTube is a social network of sorts so um, yeah, I'm open to meeting new people, um, especially if you're a content creator as well, that would uh, be quite nice if um, there's a few content creators out there that I would like to have conversations with, um, but as of yet haven't gotten hold of them, but that's okay. I'm sure once my channel has a bit more um, noticeability, uh, it's a bit bigger, then um, they may actually know who I am, which is uh, not going to be a bad thing. It's certainly something I'm looking forward to is expanding the channel, making it bigger, better and bolder. So yeah, what's to look forward to in the future? 2018 is going to be a good year for Simulator. And I mentioned in the previous video, if you are interested in making a donation, I do now have a Patreon. And the the um, name, handle, I'm not sure what you'd refer to that as. Um, my Patreon page is under the name Simulator YouTube, all one word. I do offer a reward system on there for just $2.50 a month. Um, all the patrons that pay that amount will have a shout out on my video. I will verbally shout your name out. Um, a lot of YouTubers decide to put it in text on the likes of the end card. But I will actually 
say your name in the next video that I record after you uh, um, I don't know what the terminology for it is provide a donation but also don't feel like it is necessary to provide a donation um, having your name shouted out is just a perk of that if you don't want to or can't afford to or think my content isn't good enough to pay for that is absolutely fine by me I will still be producing the exact same content regardless I made a mistake here oh good thing there's no clipping on that fence um, yeah, I will still be making the same content regardless my channel is a free one and it will always be free for anyone who wants to watch it so don't feel like you have to do anything like that of the sort in order to see the channel there will be more rewards added in the future but for now that's the only one I have I'll close some of these doors no point in having all the doors open here Just close this entire shed up completely. And uh, slight issue with that roof there. Not the end of the world. Uh, I shouldn't have shut this door. Oh, I didn't. That's good. So here's our little Dutz Agrostar 6.38. Don't be fooled by its small size. It's got a reasonable bit of power to it. It's no slouch for a tractor. It's it's certainly not a slouch. I have no idea where to get fertilizer from. Over here somewhere, maybe. Yep, right here. Looks like a bendy straw coming out of that side of the tower there. So back over to field 15, we'll spray it and that'll be it ready to be seeded we do need to still buy a new seeder because the one we had was 3 meters wide and we'd spend a week doing anything with that so quite a nice little tractor does have interactive controls as you can see so this is our field here there is actually a proper entrance in and out of this field, but it's down the bottom. So we'll just unfold this sprayer and quickly run around this field. It's not going to take long. It's not the biggest sprayer in the world, but it's what we have to start with. We will replace this too. I do own this field. Thank you very much. It let me... Uh, let me cultivate it so I definitely own it. I think it's meaning because we're so close to the edge. But we do definitely own this field. Otherwise it wouldn't let us work it the way we did. I presume. I've never actually tried to work a field I didn't own so I wouldn't know. I know you can technically spray someone else's field. At least for a little while. I think the sprayer turns off itself or stops having an effect after a few seconds but yeah each of these videos in the series will be as close to 30 minutes as possible I don't want them to be overly long um, I'm gonna keep the time scale at times 5 I think that's the best time scale to have it at I will skip through the night um, for obvious reasons I'll work reasonably late into the day but I do need to in fact I'll do that just now I'll change it so that the season length is three days instead because we're on day one it's not going to make any kind of difference to us at all whatsoever at this point if we were on for example late spring and then we changed that it would go back to early spring I think but we were on day one anyway so it's done is changes so that there's only three days of spring three of summer three of autumn and three of winter but it's eight degrees ambient temperature four degrees ground temperature which is pretty reasonable for spring 
must have had quite a warm winter which unfortunately that didn't really happen in real life but nothing you can do about that so we'll quickly quickly get this field done ready for seeding anyway um, like I mentioned I'd like to get the big beefy type machinery on the go as soon as possible I want to cheat as little as possible but if I have to borrow some extra money from the bank to buy a certain bit of equipment then I will do that I'm not entirely opposed to possibly, in fact that's possibly what we'll do we'll, we'll maybe, I'll, I'll have to think about this, but we'll maybe conveniently buy a wind turbine just one to give us a steady income I think it's like £1,200 an hour that that gives you which is a decent chunk of money actually but we may do that and that will at least give us the ability to lease the machines that we are looking for which would be better than going without them this to our left here is the BGA very um not the worst looking BGA I've ever seen I think the worst looking BGA was in fact in Farm Simulator 2011 where it was very bland just a big concrete slab so it's taken longer than I thought and we are using quite a bit of uh, liquid fertilizer but we're almost all the way around the edge and that always obviously takes the longest but I do like the, uh, the ground texture it's like a darker green for the grass and then it's like sandy gravelly roads and obviously the Rocky Mountains visible in the distance there so yeah very nice map indeed as mentioned in the previous video this map is called Oregon Springs I think I mentioned that at the top of this episode too and it's by Richard NLD Farmers they have a, a very very nice job on this map very 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 much a fan of this one it's not quite my favorite map but it is certainly in my top three I do like this map quite a lot um, I do have my old favorites which they're gonna take quite a lot to beat admittedly um, not that they're necessarily any better than this map they're just my old favorites if you will but this map is definitely in my top three So this series is going to run alongside a couple of other series, so it does mean that I have quite a few farming simulator series on the go at the same time, but I'm okay with that. Um, as of yet, I haven't had any issues forgetting what I was doing in any of the particular farms, so that was my really my only concern with running so many series at the same time. But if you are interested in watching a realistic series of Farming Simulator, I do have one of them on the map by Bullet Bill called The West Coast. Again, that's a slightly older map as well, but that is definitely one of my favourites. That's an amazing map. It's perfect for 99% of it. I've only noticed a couple of very, very minor issues with that map. Um, and they're not functional issues uh, you know the map works exactly how it should it's just silly little glitches in you know scenery and things like that but otherwise perfect map very very nice map and so we're already around 50 percent through our fertilizer here which is concerning it means we're gonna to have to go back to the farm and get more at some point I doubt we'll get this whole field done on just the one fill 
could have probably been doing with the Bowser for the front of the tractor too. But there's no point buying that because the sprayer probably won't last very long. Probably upgrade to probably the Amazon Pan Pantera. I think that's the name of a band. I have no idea what it's called. The the big self-propelled sprayer will probably upgrade to that quite soon. I'm not opposed to making a few small in-game changes to this map as well, adding in the likes of fences here and there. I do have a couple of fence mods, so we may do that. I'm not in any kind of rush to do that, but we might do it. It just adds uh, another layer to what we're doing here. But we'll see. I'm almost tempted to plow this field a little bit bigger, right up to the side of the road, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Probably isn't, but I'm tempted to squeeze another bit of uh, space out of it there by doing that. It's something I used to do in Farm Simulator 2013, which was actually make the fields bigger by plowing them myself joining fields together <coughs> and things like that taking away some of the grass verges at the edge and and all that kind of fun stuff um, I used to also edit maps in the Giants editor as well so I was able to remove trees and things like that that, that were in my way <laughs> but I never released any maps unfortunately it's something I may get back into I may make modifications to some maps and uh, release them, but we will see. It's something I've not done in a long time, so I'd have to reacquaint myself with the software, but it's something I am considering doing. But my main focus is on creating content for YouTube, so it would have to be done in my spare time, of which I like to actually create content for YouTube in, so we'll, we'll see what goes forward with that. Not promising anything. But, we'll just have to see. I, I may put a little bit of effort aside to do that. May wait until Farming Simulator 19 is out to do that, because it's not exactly far away. Six months away. So I may just wait and do an FS19 map. But, uh yeah it's quite a, quite a nice map, very scenic and it is nice to use some different tractors that I wouldn't normally I don't have either of these two tractors in my other series this one looks very um, European and very old admittedly so it probably won't be around for very long, neither will the the other Dutes like I said, I'd like to change to the likes of JCBs and and big American type tractors. Um, a couple of JCB challengers would be quite cool. Never bothered to use them at all before, to be honest. Um, just never been a fan of them. I prefer standard type tractors, but they would be in keeping with this map and <clears throat> when we get to the point where we need a lorry it's obviously gonna have to be one of the standard lorries that we currently have unless I find a mod for a nice American styled lorry we'll just have to see on that one the only exception to that would be is if I happen to find an exceptionally nice mod or if I make my own that is but again we'll see we don't need a lorry anytime soon we'll need, probably need one around harvest time but we don't need one just now so as I previously mentioned I do want to have sheep so as soon as possible probably in mid spring I will look at getting sheep because um, it's just another source of income and they're relatively low maintenance 
and obviously they produce wool and I'm not meaning like in Goldcrest Valley where I think I got a total of nine sheep I think somewhere in the region of given that this is an America map somewhere in the region of maybe 200 to 250 sheep and um, it's obviously going to cost us quite a bit of money but I think it's uh, worth doing a large scale sheep operation as a secondary source of income and we'll need obviously to get some type of forklift type thing we may keep this tractor to be the animal tractor use it for the likes of the sheep because it does have the front loader attacher on it there you can just see it there so we may keep this tractor back for that but the other one I think will be replaced with a John Deere not John Deere, a JCB. May get a John Deere too. I'll need to have a look and see if there are any exceptionally large John Deere models available on the mod hub. John Deere's are always obviously very popular. And I aim to please. I don't dislike John Deere's by any measure just uh, dislike the price of them in this game they're certainly not the cheapest tractors out there and for the size that you're getting as well they're not exactly the best value for money if they were maybe 350 upwards horsepower that would make more sense to me but they're not wondering if we're going to have enough to finish this field it's going to be very close and we're not actually we're gonna run out just before that's a bit irritating I wonder if we can get more fertilizer in there it looks like that's a fertilizer point the other thing I've noticed is this map does seem to run very smooth Oregon Springs Biomass plant. So there is obviously still a few little jumps here and there, but when you take into account that I'm recording as well as playing the game, it's running quite smooth indeed. So for anyone out there that wants a nice American themed map with a low end computer and for it to still run quite smooth then I would recommend this map and I'm currently recording this on a laptop and I'm still achieving a comfortable 30 frames a second the majority of the time and bearing in mind that it may actually end up being higher than that that you get because my recording software is actually capped at 30 frames per second so that I don't completely kill my laptop on my videos so we'll just quickly finish this bit off here and then there's a little bit up the top as well we need to finish just a little triangle up here and head back to the farm but hopefully everyone is enjoying this series as much as I am playing it. As I mentioned, really nice map. Can't give the map creators enough credit. It's uh, very good indeed. Done a, a very, very good job on this. Highly, highly rate this map. And so I know we technically shouldn't be r driving on the road while we're folding up our sprayer but we did because why not hopefully we'll be able to get into the farm this time without crashing but yeah that's all for this episode that's us just now arriving at the 30 minute mark if you are enjoying this series then please leave a like down below if you have anything you'd like to say to me then leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah this is all parked up, so thanks for watching and 
I will see you again in the next one. Bye.